welcome back to sim right fashion academy youtube channel once again our tutorial today is going to be on the making of a boo boo gown okay so a boo boo gown is this free gown as you can see on the screen is a maxi flowing gown okay and it's actually very big so in today's tutorial i'm going to show you it's actually a simple outfit anyway but i'm going to show you how you are going to go about it so i'm using uh, this fabric as you can see in here and the fabric i have here is not actually an ankara fabric anyway of course you can use any fabric for your boo boo okay so but it doesn't need to be a very thick fabric so now i have this fabric here and the fabric is three yards okay i'm making use of a three yards uh, fabric for this boo boo so you can see the inside of it and the outside part of the fabric so right now i have three yards by 60 in here so these three yards i have in here i've already folded it in two so you can see i just folded it by two so I folded the three yards by two equal parts. So once you fold the three equal parts, it means you are going to have one and a half inch for, uh, sorry, one and a half yards for one part, as you can see. So as I folded it right now, I'm also going to fold it again because we are going to cut our booboo back and our booboo front together. So I'm going to take the folded part to meet up with the the other end that is not folded can you see so i'm making sure i meet it up this way okay at least to and the extent i need it so you can see this part is on fold that is what i'm trying to explain i have one two of it folded equally so make sure you arrange the front and the back piece appropriately before you cut so this is exactly what i'm doing right here as you can see me do right now so i've made sure i have everything arranged to the length i desire so now it's time for us to start imputing what the measurement for this google okay so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe hit the subscribe button as you can see below this video turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video share to family and friends drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestion as well and for those who has been following simbright fashion academy once again i say thank you very much for joining simbright fashion academy online tutorials as well as youtube channel too so now the business of the day is the boo boo and now we are going to impute all our measurements so this is on fold that is what i'm trying to explain and this folded part you see is going to serve as the center front and is going to serve at the center back as well so the center front and the center back are in here all together and the next thing i want to do now is to start marking out my measurements okay so in here you can see i have uh, both the back and the front in here everything is here as well so the first thing i want to do now is to step down okay so i'm using this line right now as my border line and because we are cutting directly on our fabric you need to come down by one inch to serve as your seam allowance so I'm going to make a mark of one inch before we start our measurement. So this one inch right now is going to serve as the shoulder line. So you can see I'm making a marking of my shoulder line on the fabric. Okay, the reason for this is we need to add a seam allowance on this part. So now, the first measurement I want to take is my shoulder. My shoulder is uh, 16 inches. And 16 divided by 2, I have 8 inches. And I'll make a mark. This is my mark of my shoulder, as you can see. 
and the neckline for the back because we are cutting both the back and the front in this piece so since you are cutting both the back and the front in this piece it means i'm cutting the back neckline first after which i'll cut the back uh, the front neckline so for the back neckline width the width of both of them i'm making use of five inches because this is a booboo gown so booboo gowns usually have um, you know very wide necks okay that is how it comes and it gives real fitting when your neck the, your booboo neck neck width is wide so i have five inches there which is moderately okay so i've made a mark of five inches with serving for both the front and for the back neckline now for the width the width of the back is going to be higher than the width of the front and i'm making use of 2.5 inches you can see my mark of 2.5 inches so at that point of 2.5 inches i'm going to connect to the five inches for my back neckline of this booboo so you can see what i have in here i believe you have seen my chalk line so the next thing i want to measure right now is my front neckline still on the same place and i'm making use of four and a half inches as my front neckline so this is the point of my four and a half inches and i'm going to connect this four and a half inches neckline right now i'm connecting it all the way to the four and a half inches you can see that okay so now i've connected to four and a half inches you can also come up by four inches it all depends on how wide you want your neckline to be okay but i think four and a half inches is appropriate for this tutorial so now we have the back neckline we have the front neckline and when cutting these two fabric we are going to cut the back and separate the front and cut off the front so now i want to take the measurement of my sleeve okay i put my tape on my shoulder bone by the arm and i took my measurement from this point this is my shoulder divided by my shoulder divide by two which is eight inches and i'm taking from that point the length of my sleeve and the length of my sleeve in here i'm making use of 16 inches because i really want this booboo okay i really want it to be you know to cover my arm appropriately so i'm adding 0 point, uh, 0.5 that is 16 and a half okay so and i'm also going to extend my shoulder line remember this is my shoulder line and we are going to add our seam allowances that is why we have one inch before the shoulder line so now on the length of the sleeve i'm going to drop my booboo i'm dropping it at two inches okay or let me drop at one and a half inches okay so my shoulder drop is going to be at my sleeve line and i'm dropping at one and a half inches so once i drop at one and a half inches i'm going to connect from this one and a half inches i believe you are seeing what i'm doing my ruler connection is going to connect all the way i'm connecting all the way to the starting point of the neckline you can see the starting point of the neckline so i'm going to drop it like this i'm dropping it like this i believe you have seen my chalk line so you can see my shoulder drop from that one and a half inches running all the way to the point of my neckline at five inches okay so this is what we have for the upper part of this booboo okay so when we are cutting right now we are going to add our seam allowances so before we cut this part, I want to show you what happens at the lower part of this booboo. So at the lower part of this booboo right now, what all we need to take is the full length. We are taking the full length of this booboo. Like I told you, it came by 60 with some extra little inches. So I'm not going to cut everything because I have my full length as the fabric itself okay so if your yours is longer than 60 inches or if you are shorter you know 
uh, yeah, the, your length is at 54, 55 to the floor level. Of course, you take your measurement from the shoulder to the floor length. That is how the boo boo comes. You take your measurement from your shoulder and drop your tape to the floor length. Whatever thing you have is going to be your measurement for the full length. All you need to do is to add two inches to it for hemming and for stitching. Okay. All right. I believe you understand that. So coming back to what we have on the arm area, because this is a boo-boo, I'm taking my measurement of my round sleeve from this shoulder drop. And my round sleeve uh, chest line is 8 inches, okay? But I'm going to make use of 10 inches because boo-boos are really, you know, they are really open, okay? It's very beautiful when it's open. So what I'm going to do now is to make a straight line from this point to this point. Can you see? I have a straight line and this is the straight line and I'm going to come in by one inch from this line I believe you are seeing what I'm doing my chalk I don't know if it's actually very clear but you can see how I'm moving my chalk so from this point I have to come in I came in by one inch okay and I'm going to connect from this one inch to the point of my shoulder drop and this is what i have as my boo boo connection can you see so i connected it in at one inch okay not straight please don't keep it straight make sure you have it slanted a little so now at this point that i have it slanted a little as you can see so I'm going to step in. I'm stepping in to make a little boo-boo, you know. So I'm going to draw my line first. I'm drawing a line from that point. That is a straight line. And at this straight line, I'll just come in by 4 inches. Okay. So this is the 4 inches mark right now. So at this 4 inches mark, I'm going to just draw another straight line, okay? And at this point right now, I'm going to come in from this point. You see this point? I'm going to measure 1.5 inch. And from this point, I'm going to measure 2 inches, okay? Why am I doing this? I want to give it a slight curve because it's not actually going to be be four four corner or squared. So you can see I've given it a little boo boo curve. I just wish my chalk you are seeing what I'm doing, okay? But you can see what I'm actually doing. So right now, from this point, I came in by four inches. I'm going to take my line all the way to the length of my boo boo okay so i'm going to cut out this boo boo right now for you to see so i'm going to show you how you are going to add your seam allowances so right now i want to start cutting and i'm cutting from this point remember i've added my seam allowance on this part as well okay all right i'm going to add my seam allowance okay my seam allowance i'm adding for my stitching right here i'm adding one inch okay so you can see i moved away from the line by one inch to add my seam allowance following the curve so that after stitching i fall back to where i have my chalk line okay so i'm going to i've already added my seam allowance on the sleeve i believe you are seeing me okay let me bring it a little closer so you can see my chalk line and this is my one inch seam allowance but on this part, I added my seam allowance already. So that is why I'm cutting 
on the chalk line i believe you understand this explanation okay so now this is the sleeve part which i've cut and i'm going to cut the shoulder part to cut the shoulder part i'm adding 0 0.5 so you can see the measurement of my 0 0.5 from this line falls at this point okay so i'm going to cut 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 can you see i'm not cutting on the uh, on the chalk line please take notes i've added my seam allow that is why we had the one inch before okay so since you are cutting on fabric you need to have that one inch slant line uh, that one inch uh, border line to allow you add your seam allowance so you can see the line and this is my zero 0.5 seam allowance so now i'm cutting on the neckline so like i said from the neckline i'm going to cut from the neckline at adding my seam allowance and i'm going to cut the back neckline first and separate it to cut the back front neckline so on this part i'm adding my seam allowance of 0 0.5 you can see i'm not cutting on the chalk line i have my seam allowance on top of the chalk line and i'm cutting so this is what i have now can you see i still have my chalk line and my 0 0.5 seam allowance and i have my seam allowance added so now we are done with the front okay let me bring it a little closer okay so we are done with the back neckline right now and i'm going to cut the the length the full length of this gown so to cut the full length of this gown I'm going to go to the hem part of it. I want you to also note that this is the line I'm cutting. Okay. So this is the line I'm cutting through. And I need to measure this line to make sure I have it at exactly at the appropriate place. So from the center front of both the back and the front, as you can see now, I'm taking my measurement from the center front center back to this line and I have 19 and a half for my booboo. So this 19 and a half I have in here for my booboo. I'll just go to the hem and also mark 19 and a half. But since it's actually long, I'll just shift a little bit and make another mark. I need to rule my line so I cut exactly on my line. So I've made my mark of 19 and a half inches and all I'm doing now is to connect the line. Okay, I will connect the line straight all the way. I'm going to take it all the way to my hem right now. Okay, all the way to my hem right now. So... You can see all right so you can see what i'm doing i've taken the line to the hem okay so at this point of the hem you are also expected to have 19 and a half so what i'm doing now is to add my seam allowance i'll quickly add my one one inch one one inch seam allowances and you can see me cutting my boo-boo so the part i'm cutting now is the side of this boo-boo i've added my seam allowance and you can see where i came back to can you see so i've come back to this line okay so you can see that 
for my boo-boo looking so beautiful and wonderful can you see this is the boo-boo connection and that is what you expected to have you can see that so once i stitch on the chalk line right now i'll read some okay that is it and i'm going to also stitch on my shoulder line so now what i'm going to do is to take away the back piece i'm going to choose the back the one inside to be the back piece and you can see that so i have separated the front and the back right now so this is what i have for the back you can see the booboo -boo, the neckline for the booboo -boo for the back can you see it i believe you are seeing what what is happening here so this is the back i will set it aside and i will come back to the front neckline can you see so coming back to the front neckline you can see i still have my marking so all i'm going to do is to put them together you can see that put them together the way it was then i'm going to cut the front neckline so make sure you arrange them appropriately okay so you can see this is what we had before we cut the back neckline so what i'm going to do now is to start from this same point you know they also share the same width okay so i'll just add my 0 0.5 seam allowance for the front neckline you can see i'm not cutting on the chalk line i'm i just added my seam allowance can you see so right now i'm done with the front neckline and i'm going to open it for you to see that i have this wider so you can see it's actually wider okay so this is how you cut your booboo -boo. so what i'm going to do now is to put the front and the back together okay so this is the front and this is the back this is the back booboo -boo. And this is the front boo boo. Okay, so all I'm going to do is to put them together as you can see, and I'll go to my machine and stitch. It's just a simple, you know, gown. So I'm going to stitch from one end to the other, and I'm going to stitch from this other end to the other. So once I'm done stitching, I'm going to use my bias taping to, you know, tape it all around, and we'll be done. Okay. All right, beautiful people, this is how we come to the end of this boo-boo. I believe you learned a lot from this content. So if you love this content, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every week. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Join Simbright Fashion Academy online tutorials. I'll be dropping the link on the description box below. The description box below is on your right hand side of this video. You see an arrow pointing down below. Please click on it and join our online WhatsApp group. Thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again. See you in my next video. Bye.